Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanya and today I'm gonna do a reaction video for you. This video was uh, suggested in my Discord and it is called Australian Magpies, Everything You Never Knew uh, by a channel called The Backyard Naturalist. This is a brand new reaction for me. I have never reacted to one, this channel before or two, um, anything involving strictly magpies. I've never like done like an educational video learning about them before. So this will be a first time for me, but I'll tell you what I do already know about magpies is that they, they have, you guys have a magpie season where some, not all, but some magpies who are protecting their young um, near their nests might swoop down at people that are walking by or riding their bikes near there or something but other people don't ever have issues with magpies that's what i that's what i do know that's what i've learned about them just on my own um everything else i'm gonna learn today here's ghost <laughs> real quick before we start um i just wanted to remind everybody that i do have a discord like i said earlier and it's completely free to join um it's it's just a place to come and hang out and um be chill and relax and goof off and whatever. It's just, it's, it's just for fun. I also have my memberships turned on if you're interested in helping support my channel. Uh, anyway, so, ghost. So let's go ahead and get started on this video. Here we go. Do you communicate with family members through song? Have you ever eaten earthworms for sustenance? Are you tempted to plunge upon your enemies from great heights? Then you might have something in common with the Australian magpie. These flying Oreos are known for their complex harmonies, but they're smart cookies too, able to rec- I do like that this guy has like, um, a sense of humor about it. That I think that's funny. I like that. And, uh, Yes, I have heard that they are very intelligent. I have ha heard that also. I forgot about that. Now there's over a hundred different human faces. In this video, we're wow. gonna learn a little bit about these creatures and why they're considered to be one of Australia's most iconic birds. In a grand old British tradition of unimaginative <clears throat> names for exotic animals, the bird was named the magpie after its European namesake. Despite its similar coloring, it has no relation to the Eurasian species. Their actual closest relatives are two fellow Australian birds, the currawong, a highly underrated bird in my opinion, and the butcher bird. The less said about you, the better. <laughs> Magpies are also- Um, neither of those birds have I ever heard of before. Um surprisingly but i mean i'm also not like a bird person um but magpies are very cute they are very cute birds so often mistaken from a distance with these guys magpie larks or as they're otherwise Those known peewees there were once oh, thought to be three separate peewee. species of magpie but now they're considered to be just one with nine subspecies you don't need to know all of them but there is a distinction between the northern black-backed magpies which are smaller and the southern white-backed ones who are larger magpies are a tasteful i feel like we have a lot of th that sort of thing in the states too where um take any kind of animal and there's like the the, t the kind that you'll see in the western half of the U united states and then there's maybe the kind that you'll see in like the southeast or whatever i think we have s animals like that too thick bird at around 40 centimeters long on average with wingspans <laughs> up to 85 centimeters their most distinctive feature is of course their striking black and white plumage youngsters tend to have more gray mixed in with their feathers this one's oh. a female and how do I know that? What gives it away yeah, is the know? nape. It's white in males and gray in females. Maggies oh. have a lifespan of around 25 years, although some <gasps> have been reported to- Dang, 25 years, wow. That's a long life. I don't really know like what a typical bird lifespan is. Like, I don't know if it really varies a lot like in different bird breeds, um, but 25 to 30 years seems pretty pretty long to me. Um, I would imagine that <clears throat> that could also have something to do with why they're so smart because if they're around for so long and they start recognizing people that they're around, I would imagine that could do it too. Live up to 30 years of age, just long enough to ponder what you're actually doing with your life. 
The Aussie magpie has managed to conquer just about every corner of the Australian continent, except for the top end, the big old deserts, and this specific area of Tasmania. What actually goes on here? It's just one of life's mysteries. The magpie's most favoured habitat type are open grasslands dotted with tall trees. They use the trees for nesting and the grasslands for grazing on bugs. Humans, cheeky little buggers, have unwittingly created the perfect magpie habitats by building parks and golf courses with these exact conditions. Who's controlling who? The English bird fancier John Gould is quoted as saying, To describe the note of this bird is beyond the power of my pen. I'm sure he sounded like that. It's hard to argue with Mr. Gould. Magpies have a complex song which can vary as much as four octaves in pitch. In Latin, the magpie's biological name, Gymnarina tibicen, literally means bare-nosed flute player. The magpie can mimic over 30 species of birds, as well as other animal wow. calls and even human sounds like this. Maggies have a number of different... That's impressive! That's so cute! They are so cute! ...calls for different purposes. You might think this one is a lovely morning song but it's actually a territorial claim meant for other magpies. Basically, this is our turf. Piss off. This one means danger. And if you're a parent, you already know what this one means. Magpies are omnivorous. Their diet is perfectly balanced and contains all the main food groups. Insects, small lizards, mice, nuts and seeds, and even other bird eggs. Magpies will stride along the ground searching for insects. A behavior you'll notice is that they cock their heads to the side before striking. This is because they can hear the sound of worms under the ground. They will also sometimes venture into open houses to beg for food. Now it's not recommended to feed wild magpies, much like with the Darrows who hang around at the local train station. If they become accustomed to human handouts and the handouts stop, they can become aggressive. Although, between you and me, I do like to give them a cheeky feed now and again. Maggies live in groups of up to 24 birds. And get oh, this, wow. the collective noun for magpies is tidings. Magpies <laughs> are highly territorial birds. They reside all year round in territories that are viciously defended by all group members. As humans, we may not be able to see it, but there are invisible borders which the birds patrol. They also take hygiene very seriously and will often be found puffing up their feathers and using their beaks to remove parasites. Another behavior that I noticed was that they wipe their beaks repeatedly on branches and fence posts. It's generally accepted that this is a way of cleaning their beaks, but it could also be a way of sharpening them too. I know, I don't, is this something that other birds do? Cause I have never seen a bird do this before. This is the first time I've ever seen a bird do this. Is this strictly a magpie thing or is this like, just birds in general, because that's <laughs> so cute. Magpies can recognize up to a hundred unique human faces. They will know all the faces of the people who live in their local territory, and they can remember faces up to five years. Because of this, treating magpies with respect will earn you their friendship. Equally though, if you treat them with disrespect, they will hold a grudge against you and be more likely to swoop you. Speaking of which... I mean, if so, then you deserve it. <laughs> Interestingly, magpies don't actually swoop that much. Anticlimactic, I know. It's only the males that will swoop during the breeding season, and only 11% oh, of them do it. And there are worse things than being swooped by magpies, like syphilis. Let's talk about magpie sex. Is a line that I often use to entice women into the bedroom with varying degrees of success. Magpies generally mate for life. If a male dies while there are chicks in the nest, the female will find a new mate. Her new partner will protect the babies, even though he's not genetically related to them. That's female so magpies sweet. lay three to five eggs, bluish green in color. It generally takes 20 days for the eggs to hatch. The chicks are fed by their mother and are able to fly in four. I'm not even kidding. That made me tear up hearing that. That is so dumb. <laughs> that made me tear up. That is so sweet about the male birds helping the 
the babies that aren't theirs. Four weeks. But unfortunately, many don't <laughs> make it this far and are killed by weather conditions, predators, and human activity. For the next two years, the young magpies are taken under the wing of their mother. She'll provide for and nurture the juveniles until they're eventually forced by their parents to leave home. They'll then join a group of up to 50 other single magpies, essentially a magpie share house. They'll stay here until they can gain a place in a new territory as an adult breeding bird. I had a lot of fun making this video. I spent over a month filming magpies in different areas and I got to know my local magpies pretty well. It was just interesting observing the behaviors that I'd read about and some that I'd never seen before. There's a lot to admire about magpies. They're curious, intelligent, and charismatic. It's not hard to see why they've had such a cultural impact in this country. That's all for this video. But before I go, I'm gonna leave you with some fun facts. So they like to sunbathe. Uh, one man living in Canberra who witnessed uh, what he described as magpies holding court, he saw 10 to 20 magpies standing in a circle while one magpie stood in the center. The magpie looked scared but didn't fly away. Individually, each magpie would step forward to peck the magpie in the center of the circle. After that, the magpies flew away, leaving the defeated magpie behind. Aww. Magpies have outwitted scientists by helping each other move, uh, remove tracking devices. Damn. Within hours, most of the other trackers have been removed. By day three, even the dominant male of the group has had its trackers successfully dismantled. Over a thousand Australian magpies were introduced into New Zealand from 1864 to 1874, but have subsequently been accused of displacing native birds and are now treated as pest species. Aww. The weak should fear the strong. Oh. That was a very good video. I really enjoyed that a lot, actually. It's not, it wasn't like um, just strictly, I'm gonna spit all these facts at you, but I'm gonna include humor in it too. And I really appreciate that because I think that when you add um, fun into learning, then it's easier to remember what you're learning. You know what I mean? It sticks in your mind more. So this video, I'm sorry, ghost keeps crossing. Um, this video, <laughs> He wants the fly. Did you guys see the fly that keeps bothering me? Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this this video and this guy's uh, personality. He's fairly new. He's only been on for about a year, I guess. Um, so maybe I'll check out some more of his videos sometime because I really enjoyed him. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video too. If you did, please give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And I will see you next time.